So um, Dave Chappelle lives in this Ohio town. He talks about it all the time. He's talked about it a bunch. He is, um, he's basically a God to this town. Okay. Straight up. I know this from, uh, you know, firsthand sources. We're going to talk about Dave Chappelle's story now. Okay. Dave Chappelle is vowing to pull investments from the Ohio town that he's been living in for a while. If it doesn't stop this affordable housing plan. Now, this is a conversation that we need to have about NIMBYs and YIMBYs. NIMBYs are, uh, NIMBYs and YIMBYs uh, are, are sometimes incredibly fucking annoying on the timeline. That's a group of individuals that I uh, also uh, hate uh, getting attention from. There's probably a lot of you in here right now. The difference between a NIMBY and a YIMBY is yes in my backyard versus no in my backyard, not in my backyard. Okay. It's people that oppose developments in their neighborhoods versus people that are pro developments in their neighborhoods. Now, the YIMBY side, the yes in my backyard people are interesting because you have well-intentioned leftists on the YIMBY side, okay? And then you have psychotic, hyper-capitalist, libertarian scumbags on the YIMBY side that are like, dude, shut the fuck up. It doesn't matter if we're building fucking, uh, you know, uh, uh, luxury uh, condominiums. Like, that's still going to actually create more demand. That's still going to actually, or that's uh, going to open up more fucking uh, condominiums that people uh, will be able to, uh, at, at the very least, rent from. Like, that's just, it's just basic uh, economics, dude. You just don't understand it. You don't, you literally don't understand it. Like, more supply is good. Like, more supply is good. That'll actually fucking, uh, uh, more supply is good, technically, for the record. It is good. But there also has to be, uh, there also has to be measures, okay? There also has to be regulation and restrictions and uh, opening up more supply of luxury condominiums isn't necessarily opening up an opportunity for, for other people to be able to find affordable rent. It, like, the market doesn't work that way. I'm sorry. At this stage, if you're like old enough to see how this works, you have to recognize that it's not, oh, if there's more supply, that means like then housing prices are going to go down uh, and uh, and it will be able to it will be able to go along with the demand, the increase in demand. And therefore, uh, people will be able to rent uh, a lot easier. Okay. Especially when a lot of these are seen as investment properties and a lot of these are seen as investment vehicles. There's a lot of foreign investment that plays a, a role here, okay? And therefore, none of that fucking supply is opened up. It's just still vacant homes or it's Airbnb homes. It's an investment vehicle that you can uh, create uh, additional opportunities to fucking rent uh, on. Thanks for dealing with all this. Okay. Things. Hope I don't get brain rot. I am a YIMBY if uh, I think when you oppose affordable housing in your neighborhood, you should be forced to have double the affordable housing. <laughs> what? So. Hey, at Hassan, I just wanted to share. So Dave Chappelle. Locked down from a bomb threat at Yorkstown. A lot of time affordable means according to the zip code, uh, median income too. Sure. Um, Dave Chappelle puts his balls on the fucking table at this city council meeting. And he basically stops this new development project dead in its fucking tracks. He does not think that this new development project, which also is going to feature some affordable housing in it. Now the details of that, we're going to get to in a second, because this is what a lot of developers do. A lot of developers do this little trick where they're like, Oh yeah, we're going to, of course, of course we're going to do uh, affordable housing on our new development. Like, come on. And then the affordable housing isn't actually affordable. And they're not even, fun fact, they're not even fucking building the affordable housing at all. They're just offering extra land, for example. Okay? Like, they're not building the housing. They're just saying, we're going to give you the land. Uh, if you let us do a development here, we'll give you the land. And, uh, and then you can build the affordable housing here. Like, that's, you know, some fun little tricks. Uh, to to basically 
you know, get away uh, and, and, you know, a little marketing trick to be able to sell your uh, major development idea to a city of well-intentioned people. So that's the reason why as soon as I saw Dave Chappelle come out and be like, oh, wow, this is the, this is what's going on here. Um, there is this, uh, you know, there's this development and I want to fucking, I will pull my investment out and, and, uh, you know, if you, if you go forward with this, I will literally pull my fucking investment out. Uh, I, my immediate interaction wasn't, or my immediate reaction was not, oh fuck. He's like, be, he, he's on his villain shit. He's on his like rich, uh, he's on his rich boy shit. You know? Can I go? Can you hear me? Yes. Even though. He is going to come across like a total dickhead here. Yes. Hi, I'm Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I just want to say, and Marianne, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the Village Council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ex out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like. So he's saying he's a $65 million company on his own. Like that's him. He's like a brand and the $24 million company is the developers, I guess, or the $24 million development that they are taking on. And he's saying like, how dare you make me audition for you? Um, even though I can talk to him. Uh, so is it, is it, is not bad now? Dave D good. I don't, I don't know exactly. Um, I don't know exactly what the details are. Is he exclusively, is he for the development, but against the affordable units? In which case, it's totally fucked up. That is like the villainous, most villainous shit you can do. Okay? If you're pro-development, but literally specifically just against the affordable units, then that is completely unacceptable. Like the absolute worst. If he's confused and he thinks that like, uh, affordable units are not actually affordable or the affordable units are, are a lie to fucking uh, accelerate the development and like, you know, fast track this shit and that it's all just going to be uh, rich condominiums or whatever the fuck or market rate condos that they're building. Okay. Then that's one thing. So I don't understand because like I, I do believe or I have thought for the longest time that Dave Chappelle was actually pro housing. Like, even though he did, uh, what do you call it? Even though he did, uh, I just, I accidentally had Twitter all, up on the other fucking page and it's like, just, I despise people. If you're on Twitter and you're trying to fucking, if you're on Twitter and you're quote retweeting me to say some negative shit, honestly, like, just, just log off, dude. You should be in jail instead. You should just fucking do something else. Okay? It's straight up. 14 months, Pog. You're pathetic. You're a loser. Your life sucks. It just, I don't know how else to describe it other than your life fucking sucks. And uh, getting like the 12 other people that like accidentally see your fucking take uh, and, and that little adrenaline rush that you get when like you get your first fucking like is not going to uh, help you. It's not going to save you anyway. But Dave Chappelle did actually uh, support Andrew Yang, which was fucking weird. I remember being like, uh, I remember talking shit about that. Obviously for obvious reasons, even though uh, a lot of you Yang gang motherfuckers were like, what, why are you getting mad at him for that? He's Yang is the, is the future of America. He's great. Um, so let's watch this. He was a Yang gang guy. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. I think he's doing the standard NIMBY rich property owner thing of flexing nuts because of the potential of lowering the property value because of cheaper right. housing. So um, I'm going to formally open the public hearing and um, I want to do a little bit of fact checking um, and then we're going to have uh, Denise, Brianne, and a few other people uh, uh, present and then council is going to make a decision. Um, so uh, Laura Curlis uh, did a commentary on the memo that I put into the packet and she referred to that earlier. Um, 
She very factually has stated that the village is going to lose 213,000 in tax revenue. And I want to comment on that because, uh, first of all, uh, and, and it was really odd to me that that was the one modification of my table that Laura made where she removed the reference to the fact that the valuation did not include the The New York Post wrote an article about this and said, and even they admit that the plan is bullshit. It's not like you said, it's not. And it's just like you said, they're promising affordable housing, but not actually implementing it immediately. They're building 600K houses, just like you said. Okay, so. So I'm hearing conflicting uh, things on this, okay? If you're pro-development, but anti-affordable uh, housing units, then you're a piece of shit. There's just no other way around it. Like you're literally a, just an awful person, okay? I don't know how else to describe it. Like you just don't want, you just don't want fucking poor people in your backyard. That's it, right? Um, as per David's wishes, the council ruled that the build can continue, which David and the rest wanted, but will do so without letting poor people in, which was their primary objection. So, so the build is going on. I just dug in uh, to it and just to make it certain, but the developer was explicitly putting land aside for affordable housing without even plans for it yet. Oh, so, okay. So it is, so it is bullshit. So like both sides are villainous in this circumstance where like, I just, I hate this when, when both sides are capitalist as fuck in the situation, one, you have the community members that personally think that affordable housing units are actually going to fucking decrease their property value, which they see as an investment vehicle and not just the house that they live inside of as shelter. And then you have a fucking developer, a capitalist developer. That's like taking advantage of the well-natured individuals by saying, oh yeah, no, this development is actually great, but we're, you know, we're going to build affordable housing units on top of that when they're not actually interested in building affordable housing units at all. And they're just setting aside land specifically for the affordable housing units without even fucking building them. Okay. So if Dave turns around and in that circumstance says, no, you shouldn't even set land aside for affordable housing units, then he's the worst in this situation. That's incredibly fucking reactionary. If Dave's position is, what the fuck are you guys doing? You're not going to fucking just send land aside. You have to build affordable housing units. That's fucking bullshit. And the main development is not supposed to have fucking, uh, the main development should not be made specifically for three hundred to six hundred thousand uh, dollar uh, housing units, which is like price adjusted to the region, but instead cheaper. Okay, then that makes sense. Found to defend Dave Angle, God tier debate lord. You are actually fucking uh, uh, not hearing what I'm saying. Do you not hear what I'm saying? I just said Dave is the biggest villain in the story. If he's exclusively saying nuke the fucking affordable housing unit part of this deal. Okay. That is like there that even in a situation where uh, there is a fucking developer that is trying to sell a project to a city. Okay. Dave is still the worst person overall. If He's nuking the affordable part of the affordable housing part of this. Um, so we'll take a look uh, further. 140 house plan in Yellow Springs takes another step forward. Uh, Yellow Springs is planning the commission on Tuesday recommended the village council rezone land meant for new development south of the village with a few modifications. Oberer Homes, a Miami Berg, Miami's Berg company, base company that builds new developments, is planning on building 140 new homes on 55 acres south of the village. Available homes in Yellow Springs have become increasingly expensive and scarce. The new development would be open land west of Spillen Road and north of Hyde Road. Village council will vote on rezoning on December 6th. Okay. By the way, I love that you said instead of reading articles from mainstream media with biases, watch the local news coverage of the story. Local news coverage of the story will be fucking hyper nimby. What the fuck do you mean? Everyone has biases in this situation, but you also have to remember that local news is incredibly reactionary. <laughs> what are you talking about? Local news is for people who are the business owners that you know stand to gain the most from 
nuking the affordable side of the fucking, uh, uh, the affordable housing side of any sort of development deal. Biases about Dave Chappelle, not the project, you himbo. Exactly. No, they're going to have biases about the project, not Dave Chappelle. It's more important. Dayton, at their meeting on December 6th, the Yellow Springs Village Council discussed their plans to rezone 50 acres of property. We already figured that out. Okay, one citizen was very vocal about their opposition, comedian and Yellow Springs resident Dave Chappelle. Chappelle told the council that besides living behind the proposed development, he has many business interests in town. I just want to say that I'm adamantly opposed to it. I have invested millions of dollars in town. If you push things through, what I'm investing in is no longer applicable. The average age in Yellow Springs is 49 years old, according to Chappelle. He also said without a school, they will not be able to attract young families. The changes are inevitable, but we do have a decision on what they will or could be. Chappelle has an office in downtown Yellow Springs and at least two redevelopment projects in the works, including one, the former firehouse on Corey Street that his company bought to, com uh, to covert convert into a comedy club and restaurant. Additionally, Chappelle's company owns an old school house on Dayton Street. Um, there have been plans to renovate it and for the National Public Radio affiliate in Yellow Springs to move their offices and studios there. So I know for a fact that Dave Chappelle loves Yellow Springs. He does. Uh, he literally, he, he does. Like he, he might even personally think that uh, he's doing the right thing for the people that are surrounding him in Yellow Springs. It just happens to be that the people that are surrounding him in Yellow Springs are, you know, petite bourgeois business owners uh, that uh, are also against the development project because, or at the very least, uh, against development projects and the affordable unit part of the development projects. Tension because comedian Dave Chappelle says he's opposed to it. During a public village council meeting earlier this week, Chappelle said he will pull his business investments from the village if council approves the development. News Center 7's John Bedell talked to the village manager about the proposed plan and Chappelle's concerns. We're here on the south end of Yellow Springs. This is just a cornfield right now, but it's the site where a new housing development would go if this current proposal goes through, and it's creating some controversy here in the village. The proposed housing development calls for single-family duplexes and townhomes to be built at the corner of Hyde and Spillin Roads. It's about a two-and-a-half-mile drive from downtown Yellow Springs. Comedian Dave Chappelle didn't say specifically why he was opposed to the... Bro, people are going to get mad at me, but, like... I am literally the most libertarian Andy when it comes to fucking Ohio and shit, okay? Like, bro, it's literally, it's Yellow Springs, Ohio. Like, what? It's a fucking cornfield. Like, what are you preserving, dog? Build fucking housing in that cornfield right now, okay? Like, build fucking housing in that cornfield right now. Like, right this very moment. Build it yesterday. What the fuck are you doing? What are you preserving, dude? The corn? The ugly-ass fucking field? Is that what you're preserving? Bro, we, I live in Los Angeles, okay? And in this fucking city, they take down beautiful monuments, okay? This is a city with some fucking history. They take down fucking churches in Echo Park, and they build luxury condominiums in its place. Ugly-ass, brutalist architecture. They pop up left and fucking right. You're offended and afraid of a fucking cornfield that doesn't even have corn on it? Build some fucking houses there now! Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry. plan but did say this during a virtual village council meeting this week i just want to say i'm uh, adamantly opposed to it obviously i live behind the development or the proposed development he was one of the people who spoke against the plan at the public meeting i do have many business interests in town i've invested millions of dollars in town if you push this thing through what i'm investing in is no longer applicable for perspective, Chappelle keeps an office in downtown Yellow Springs and has at least two redevelopment projects in the works there. As we reported last year, his company bought this former firehouse on Corey Street and is converting it into a comedy club and restaurant. Plus, just down the road on Dayton Street, Chappelle's company owns this old schoolhouse. There's plans to renovate it and... It literally just fucking feels like 
it just feels like he wants to preserve the uh the 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 beauty of that town that he's living in, right? Like I mean, I don't I don't mean to come across like a fucking asshole and and be like you know I just don't even understand why he would literally like what what's the problem? Like you don't want fucking more housing is going to help your fucking comedy club. I'm just saying. 